everyone and welcome to today's video where holy freaking crap I'm going to be making my childhood dreams come true because I am putting in a secret passageway in my house <gasps> It's actually happening. This is something I've wanted all my freaking life. Just like a secret bookshelf that opens up with like you moving a book or like you press a secret button and it opens up to a secret room. So I'm finally making my childhood dreams a reality. I came across this website called The Hidden Door Store and they do a bunch of custom bookshelves and doors and just a bunch of secret passages and I immediately got hooked and I was going through the website and I was like, I don't know what to do. I figured I would go through the process with you guys and pick out my very first secret passageway and I'll take you through the process of me installing it and um, yeah, I'm just so excited. So without further ado, let's get on with this video. Alrighty, so I'm here on my laptop and I'm ready to look at this damn website and see what we have here. Secret bookshelves, uh, high security doors, mirror, oh my god, the mirror door looks so freaking cool. All right, let's go into shop. Let's do the secret bookcase door because honestly, that's the most iconic type of secret door is a bookshelf door. So I think this is the one that I definitely want. Let's take a look at the pictures. Isn't this so freaking cool? It literally looks so just like a regular old bookshelf and then bam! Secret revealed. Okay, build your door. Let's do it. Okay, so there's a couple different finishes that you can have. You can have the alder wood veneer stained finish, engineer wood stained finish, and I'm not stained. I'm going to paint the door because I want it to blend in with the hallway. By the way, I'm doing this as the room, so the door that leads into here is what is going to be the secret. This is going to be the secret room. I'm gonna go with the not stained. And then, okay, so you have to pick your door orientation of how you want the bookshelf to open up. So I need to think of my hallway. So I think it needs to swing out right. Okay, and then the style. Oh, I want it to be built in flush. Definitely. Crown molding or flat molding? I'm going to do flat. Ooh, a locking system. Okay, so if you don't want to lock, you'll get $200 off, but I definitely want it to be a lock. Magnet sensor, a key fob, a tilt sensor, wireless keypad, voice control. Um, definitely the tilt sensor. It's a freaking book. Sorry, I know it's $400, but that's worth it. I'm so excited. I hope it actually works. Oh, they give you a hollow book. Yes. There's even a book selection. I'm I'm going to do Grimm's fairy tale. Add to cart. It's only $3,400. Okay, well, I'm going to go and order this right now, and I'll catch up with you guys once it arrives. I'm so excited. I'm nervous. Really hope that it fits. I think we're going to have to do some construction on my door frame to make it fit, so I'm going to get the dimensions, send it off to a handyman, and see if uh, we can make this happen. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit, but 0.2 seconds your time. Okay, guys, it has arrived finally, and this box is so freaking big. Holy crap, I am very nervous that uh, this is going to be too heavy to get upstairs on the second floor of my house. In comparison to that bike, holy moly. Caution, high value items, halo with care. Yes, I swear if this thing is broken, I'm going to be pissed. I literally waited five freaking months for this. Alrighty, so this is the door. It's so interesting. Okay, so it looks like this is the back of the door because it's deep in there. Um, so I don't know what the front of it looks like, but it all came packaged. It looks like you almost just like pop it into the doorway. There's some wiring, which I believe is the electricalness of it being a automatic door. I can't wait to see the book that, uh, opens the door. Alrighty, so the process has begun. My door is gone! So basically the next step is to rip out these sides and make the dimensions exactly the same as the door that I ordered. So this has to actually become a lot shorter. So we're going to board that up and then I think we have to expand this by like inch and a half, which is kind of annoying that it's not going to fit in this door frame, but that's what all these tools are for. So, let the process 
finally begin! A few moments later. Okay, so here's the update with the door frame. So as you can see, a lot has been done as far as things being removed. So we're gonna have to take this out as well as this chunk of wood and that will make it the perfect size for it to fit the bookshelf in. Okay, so unfortunately, this process has taken a lot longer than I expected and today I had to go film with Rosanna and I missed the installation part of the door, um, but I just got home and I am going to go see. Even though I told Daniel to film parts of it, he didn't. No, you did not. I did. You get to see my reaction. Oh my God. This is so cool! Oh, this is so crazy! This is something that I've literally always wanted growing up and to actually have, like, I remember writing an essay, even in college, like the one year that I went to college, they asked, like, write up your dream house. And one of the things that I had was secret passages, like a, a bookshelf that opened up to a room. Is it plugged in? Yeah, but you don't know what book it is. Okay, it wasn't that one. Arabian Nights. Oh my god! Oh, the thing is that we're gonna change up the book every time. Oh. So yeah. people aren't gonna know which book. Oh my god. That is so wild. This is so freaking cool. I love this. Look. Bye. So the next part of the process is paneling all this up so it blends seamlessly. Um, painting is tomorrow. Um, and then I'm gonna have to go to the store and get a bunch of books to fill this all in. Make it look- All like vintage books. All vintage books. Oh my god, I wanna put like orbs of stuff and make it super mystical. <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> You guys could see my face right now. I can't wait for us to have to take out this door when we move here. From Fine. Here. I'm taking it with me Fine. wherever I go. <laughs> so it's actually, I think, a week or two later. No, it's definitely like two weeks. I still have a lot to do with the door as far as decorating. And my hair's different, obviously. Um, but we ran into a bit of an issue. So... While I was away, basically we thought that the door was just battery powered, but it had to be plugged in and the battery power is just like in case the power goes out in the house. Uh, so it wasn't plugged in and basically <gasps> we're completely locked out from going inside. Like there's absolutely no way of getting in. There's no like, I don't know, secondary measure of getting in and there's no other door to get in there. So we're trapped out of there. <laughs> And the only way in is through the window, but the window's locked, and we're gonna have to basically smash a window to get into the room. My friends, I'm going on an extraordinary adventure, and I'm in need of your help. I'm about to get killed in front of all these people. I didn't even have a chance to party yet. Here we go. Again. We're at a museum of the dead. Time is ticking. What I want is a way to make all the wrongs I did right. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to go out this window. Daniel? Yeah? Oh my god, this is scary. Is it, am I safe to go up there? Yeah, you're fine. Do you need gloves? No. I feel like you should get gloves on. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Well, I'm thinking, what if, what if we break this window instead? Oh, skinny. This one's the bathroom window. I feel like this will be cheaper to replace. I don't think we can fit through there. I oh, think, I can fit through there. No, like we okay. can't break the wood. No, you, you, I break this, put your hand through, and then it cranks out. Okay, so it's double pane. I'm gonna have to break through twice and then move my hand and hopefully it jacks out all the way. Okay. I feel like... It, wants to it literally won't break. Should I just hit it really hard? Yeah. Oh! <gasps> Daniel! That's rich. <laughs> rich windows. That is rich. Oh my... 
we're not getting in there. I just need something bigger than this dinky. I don't know. Hammer. I need like a big old hammer. So now we're gonna try prying it open because luckily we didn't lock it. Oh, so it's open right there at the top. Huh. See? Yeah. Oh, I wish I had another one to go there. Where's the hammer? Oh wait, I feel like it's gonna snap. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. <gasps> oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. I just met, I was trying to get my hand, like, I wanted you to hold this so I could get my hand in yeah. there. Yeah. Well, that's good. So let's just shatter it more. Oh, it's only that first layer. What? Oh god. That is wild. Good job. Strong. Look at this. Oops. Oh, I got it all. Okay. Anybody help? <laughs> I'll just go through. Dude, I don't think. Oh my god, skinny. Oh, my unicorn's there. Hey, unicorn. I'll meet you. I'll meet you in there. Good job, skinny. I don't know how to get out of here. Really? Just push the lock in. Oh, wow. You! This battery was dead. Yeah, it's definitely supposed to be plugged in. Oh well, my God. who said that it didn't have to be? Thank you, that was probably a thousand dollars worth of damage for the charger right here. Yeah. What else is in here? Oh, I missed you all. Thank you so much for waiting. You're welcome. I literally put my life on the line. You did. Now I can film videos for you guys, I can record gaming, I can see Totoro. Good morning everyone, it is very early at the Melrose Trading Post. It's 9.30 in the morning and no one's here. Usually all the Cretans and the LA girlies arrive around 10 to 12, then it gets a little overcrowded. But I am styling Joey's little bookshelf. So we are looking for old vintage books and what better place to come than the Melrose Trading Post. Basically it's all local vendors. Um, there's People from everywhere, they, they set up their little tents and they sell all their antiques and new stuff, candles. You can literally find anything here, a lot of vintage clothes, etc. So, I my idea is there's five shelves, so I wanna do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Shades of vintage books. I think it'll look really cool. Kinda be like a little art piece within an art piece, you know? So, let's take a look around. Okay, so, so far I've struck out. I found one. <laughs> All right, so since the flea market was a bust, I'm at one of my favorite antique places in the valley. And it's basically like a mall. There's like 90 different vendors in here and there's books everywhere. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get to shopping. Bingo, look how gorgeous these leather bound books are. Ooh. All right, let's see what they're priced at. They just have the wildest thing here, like wig, dolls, tea. I love that. And this, like, why do we need that? We need it though. And I also need this hat. Hello, queen. Okay, so here's the update. We have a lot of reds, greens, blues, some oranges in there. So we need purples and purple and yellow, I think. I only really have one yellow. Drama, love that. All right, so we are back home. We have our book and I'm starting to put them up. It's gonna look so good. So I'm gonna go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and this will be like violet slash pink. Check in a little bit. Okay, so I've been working on the bookshelf shelves for a little bit now. Um, I still need to get some pink and purple books. Um, I just couldn't really find any that I wanted. I really wanted like travel, fantasy, history, that type of vibe. And I, maybe purple and pink weren't like a big color in publishing like way back when. I also need a few orange ones, but it looks so cute. I'm gonna call Joey up and then we're gonna surprise him real quick. Come on. Uh, uh. Close your eyes. Give me your hanji. I sigh, little email coming in for five hundred dollars. Hey, if you want old vintage books, that's the price you gotta pay, sweetie. One, two, three. Oh my gosh! 
Wow, it's Bam. literally a gay bookshelf. It's the gay, uh, what do they call it? Like an entryway? Holy crap, first of all, the clocks. Aren't those gorgeous? That is so magical, Daniel. Yes, they're from um, the Melrose Trading Post. I see you found some of my crystals. I sure did. We need some red crystals. I also need to get wow. some more orange books and a few more pink and purple, but is you? this what you were looking for? Absolutely. It oh feels God. like an art piece, I love it. Oh, that's the other um, oh. <laughs> exciting thing. The door locked again. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. What do you mean? Uh, pull the, pull the book out. Is this it? Yeah. No, this is. No, it's that one. It's the Grimm. I put it there for a reason. There's another problem. So Why? The top, the top part opens, but the bottom part is stuck. So I'm gonna have to go through the window again. All Yay! right, they can leave me alone. Well, you guys, this is probably one of my favorite videos just because of how freaking cool I have a freaking secret passage. Can you believe it? It's just right over here. This is what it looks like from the inside. Um, I can't close it because I think what was happening is the paint is kind of sticking to the paint from the bookshelf, so it's kind of becoming a little tacky. Overall, I'm so happy with how it all turned out, except for that minor inconvenience and the fact that it died. Uh, but it's great, I love it. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see me add more secret passages to my house, go ahead and slap that like button because I will, I will do it. I wanna do all the things that I wanted as a kid. Oh my God, if this video gets 100,000 likes, I think I might make a water slide from my balcony to my pool, so do it so I can be like, Daniel, I told them I would do it. I have to do it. Go ahead, hit that like button. And um, yeah, that's it for today's video. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for allowing me to achieve these crazy wild dreams of mine. I love you. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Good damn.